to Bits and Bites. I'm B. And I'm D. And today, what are we making? We are making healthy turkey meatloaf. Oh, my God. oh yay, yay. Well, how do we start? Well, we start with some turkey, right? Now, how much turkey are we going to use, Barbara? Well, we're going to use both of these turkeys. Two turkeys. Two turkeys. So that's about two pounds, huh? And I'm going to put on my gloves so that you don't have to get the meat in your jewelry. Thank you, because I don't want that stuff slopping up on me. So we're going to shove that right into our little bowl. Not everything's tough for us. So Y'all get your painting in the twist. Okay. Oh, so the, the uh, meat is in the bowl. Now we have to cut some onions. Are you going to do that? Would you like me to? Sure. Do okay. the onions for me. And we have to break an egg and place the egg in the bowl. Okay. So I'm chopping the onions. And you're not crying, are you? No, because you know what my trick is? I ran them under water as I cut them. And some of you will remember that from our previous uh, show. When you run your onion under the water, you don't cry in the kitchen. But I'll tell you, this is a really nice and easy recipe and a real crowd pleaser. It is. And it's, I love it because it's so good for you. It's not like that ground beef. Uh, no. You're doing a good job with that. Oh, thank you. Now we're going to put our one egg into the mixture, right? I'm asking you. Oh, yes. Right? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were Barbara, she checked out. That. Yeah, I thought I would ask the people out there who are going to answer me on the YouTube. All right, now here we go. So one little egg. Now make sure you don't get any eggshells in there. Bloop, just like that. Right. No eggshells. That's okay. nice for crunchy meatballs. All right. Now we'll go we're going to turn, put the onions in. And this is a simple recipe. It's a very simple recipe. And what I like to do is then I like to just take a squirt of ketchup. Okay, squirt of ketchup. Squirt of ketchup. And our cameraman can go right in our bowl and see. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Now, if I was at home, I would probably chop up those onions a little bit finer, but that's okay, Barbara. <laughs> well, we're doing this critic. quick. <laughs> we're doing this quick for the girls at home. Right. And now we're going to take some of... <laughs> how many bread? Uh, I don't really know. You have to just put them in to see how wet it is. So let's start with just a little sprinkle. Barbara and... doesn't measure. No, I don't At Barbara's measure. House, I tend to measure a little bit more when I'm cooking, but Barbara doesn't measure. She just does it to sight. Go ahead. I think we need a little bit more. A little bit more because you don't want it to be too dry, but you don't want it to be too wet. So what do the breadcrumbs actually do to our meatloaf? Why do we put breadcrumbs in our meatloaf? I wonder. No, that's a good question. <laughs> well, because... It's a binder, isn't it? Oh, no, the egg's the binder. I don't know. Okay. If you know, let us know. I thought you knew. No, I just know how to make it. I have no idea what the ingredients mean. We actually pretend a lot that we know what we're doing in the kitchen, but um, the phones are ringing in the trailer. I hope that's one of you calling in to ask us a question about why we're making meatloaf today. All right, now you're going to squish in there with your hands. I'm right? going to squish in here with my hands. So I want to get in there with my little No, meatloaf. no, no. You don't want to get it in there. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of folding. That's lovely. Isn't that? And if you notice when my phone rings, it actually talks to you, too. Does it tell you who's calling? Uh, sometimes. Good, because I can ignore those calls. I like when that happens. Okay, huh. so this is really nice and mushy. And now we're just going to take it and plop it in our pan. And this is a disposable pan. Right, so we're making it easy. And this is great for entertaining at the holidays. Yes. And now we're just going to pat it. You're going to fold it into a loaf. Into a loafer, yes. Not and a shoe loafer, but a meat loafer. Get it? Meat loafer. Now, uh, I won't say anything about the environment in that little silver pan, but that's okay. Why? Well, that's disposable. We don't use disposable shit anymore. No? That's all right. We're doing this in a pinch, girls, for the holidays, all right? The okay, environment will so forget. that's a nice loafer. It's beautiful. Now, what also sometimes I do is I take the ketchup and I rub my name on it. Do you? So why don't you write I'm going to write my name, name on the top. Okay, here we go. Let's see if the cameraman can get this. D E E. Oh my God! Look how cute that is, Barbara. That's my name on the meatloaf. D's meatloaf. Don't let your meatloaf. Now we cook it in the oven for uh, an hour. Hour. At three fifty. Three fifty. Now, if you have a convection bake oven, you should take at least fifteen to twenty minutes off of that. How about an easy bake oven? That would take a long time with a light bulb. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, now should I go to the oven? Yes, go to the oven. Stand back, or those hot flames will come up out of that oven. Oh! oh Remember, we wrote D on the front of our big bowl. It looks delicious. Oh, D, that looks great! Isn't it amazing? It and is. You can still see my name on the top of I it. I 
didn't yeah. disappear. All right, so let's cut a little piece off so we can try it. Oh, now, yeah. Oh, my God. This is great for the holidays for entertaining, isn't it, Barbara? Well, it's so easy, and who doesn't love personalized turkey meatloaf? Exactly. Love? Look how nice and toasty that is. Now, make sure that you take a nice big bite of that hot, scalding meatloaf, because every time that we do this, people always laugh on the Internet. Blow on it for 10 minutes. You know what's really good too, girls? Is the next day a nice little uh, meatloaf sandwich. <gasps> Delicious with a little bit of mayonnaise and some onion and some lettuce. Isn't it just good? It's a, a nice little, with your uh, little cup of soup the next day. I think. Is it hot? <laughs> this anyway, is wonderful. We're wonderful. So, so glad you joined us. Bye. Until next time, I'm Dee. And I'm Dee. And thanks for watching Cooking Bits and Bites. Bye.